Hi, if you're worried about your foot pain and it's not getting better, you've tried some exercises, you've tried some medicine, you've done some YouTube videos, uh, you've talked to your friends, your family members, uh, you know, your work colleagues have told you how the, you should be treating your foot pain, um, and you've done some treatments with other healthcare professionals and it's just not getting better, um, or you're being really diligent, you're just trying to find some great information on foot pain. Um, well, if that's the case, you're in the right place. Um, I'd like to welcome you to our website, Nose Creek Sport Physiotherapy, where we get you moving faster and feeling better, and where we basically look at trying to answer why you're getting this foot pain and how you can seek out the best advice uh, to help you with your health and get you moving faster and feeling better. Uh, my name is Blair Shackley. I've been a physiotherapist for over 25 years, working with clients just like you. Uh, we've run a business here in Calgary for over 17 years. Uh, and our, our sort of passion is treating patients over 40 years old that are getting some foot pain that's just not going away. Um, as we age, we do start to wear out the ligaments in our feet, and we do need a little bit of help um, to keep our feet feeling comfortable and getting what we call happy feet. Uh, so if you have happy feet, you're going to be an active person. If you're an active person, you're going to stay healthy for the rest of your life. Um, so, you know, people often ask me, like, Blair, why does it take so long for these pains to go away? You know, and my first question is primarily is that we don't seek help sooner, we seek it later. Um, so quite often we'll put off that nagging foot pain, uh, you know, until it gets to the point where we can't even function on that foot. Then we decide, oh, maybe I should do something about this. Well, by then, now you're into the sort of post-12 weeks uh, chronic sort of foot pain sort of scenario where, you know, there's been a lot of soft tissue changes, and, uh, you know, if you would have seeked help sooner, you probably would have been recovered by then. Um, so it's really important uh, for us to, to really realize that we're kind of, you have to take our, our blame for ourselves and not starting soon enough. And really that's the main reason why a lot of these conditions last as long as they do, because we don't seek help uh, fast enough. <clears throat> you know, and doctors will often tell you, um, well, take, take this medicine, uh, you know, just rest, offload your foot, don't put any weight through the foot, don't aggravate your foot. Um, and, you know, we'll see how it goes, you know, and then, you know, come back in six weeks if it's not any better, uh, you know, so you do that and you back in six weeks and, you know, it's kind of the same song. And then, you know, five years later, they've done every test they can medically and you've still got foot pain and they're just basically telling you this stage, so there's nothing else we can do. Uh, you just have to live with it. And the unfortunate thing is, you know, if that person didn't actually go to a true rehabilitation facility where they look at the modified risk factors, you know, within that chronic pain category for that foot, um, you know, the patient probably could have been happier and more mobile sooner rather than later. Um, so, you know, if you're stepping out of bed in the morning and you're getting sharp heel pain, uh, you, you know, I've met patients that basically tell me they have to crawl to the bathroom in the morning because they can't put weight on their heel because uh, the pain is so extreme. Uh, or they've got, you know, pins and needles and, and pain between the knuckle joints and their toes. It's just unrelenting. And, and anytime they stand on their feet, it gets worse. And, um, you know, so they're having trouble functioning in their day-to-day -day life, um, walking between sort of uh, meetings, even if they're in a job where they're sitting most of the day. Um, so, you know, yes, you can take pills and you can rest. Um, but the most important thing is uh, that just know that, you know, the hope of maybe it'll be better tomorrow isn't a great strategy. Uh, the hope strategy is something that uh, really is very important to make sure that you don't rely on complete that completely. You know, another strategy quite often my patients, you know, in their history will say is, well, you know, I just hurt to do this blur, so I just quit doing that, you know. So that's what I call the avoidance strategy. But quite often what crops up with the avoidance strategy is, you know, you make those mental notes of the three or four things that are starting to bug you, so you stop doing them. But what happens is your overall health, level of activity just slowly comes down and down and down and down and then you start avoiding you know certain activities uh, you know you can't kick the soccer ball with your kid or your grandson or your granddaughter you know or you know you want to go out and play uh, with your daughter in the yard and you can't because your foot's so sore your heel pain's so sore or friends invite you out to go for a hike or a bike or a walk and you just basically say no thanks uh, i can't do that anymore my foot's too sore you know so socially you start withdrawing and you're just not as active. And if you're not active and you're not moving, you're not healthy. So you're gaining weight now because you're sitting around and you're not as active as you used to be. You're getting possibly high blood pressure. Uh, you know, all those things that put us into what I call a downward spiral with our general health. Um, so, you know, don't accept that uh, you're getting old uh, and that you got bad genes. I mean, that's simply just not true. The MSK system, if you load it correctly, will recover 
and often is very um, resilient in regards to recovering. We've had patients as old as 96 in the clinic that make a full functional recovery kind of within their level of function and, and get their pain under the control where they can manage it on a daily basis and they don't have to take their pills anymore. Um, so just imagine, you know, if you, you could even get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% pain relief, what, how that would feel, you know, for you. And, you know, if you came in for an assessment and you got some relief, what would that feel like? Or, you know, you, um, you, you know, you, you basically <clears throat> stopped taking the pills because, uh, you know, your pain wasn't there anymore. You didn't require to take those pills, which you're putting your, your internal organs at risk of other side effects, you know, for every pill there's a side effect. Um, you know, and you don't have to worry about possibly going on for a surgery because the foot is failing because, you know, um, you didn't do enough rehabilitation early on to help it recover. Um, or, you know, just doing simple things like being able to go for a walk with your dog or your daughter, or your son or your wife, um, and not having that sharp pain in your foot. Um, or going up and down stairs pain-free. Or squatting down to pick something up off the floor. Something as simple as that. Um, you know, so these are things that are very important and, and, you know, you can't do them because of your current level of pain that you're at. Um, so, you know, whatever your story is, we've probably heard it in the clinic and, uh, you know, we see a lot of these types of pains in our clinic walking through literally our clinic every day. Um, so, you know, when we see in the clinic, what we want to do is start with the why this occurred, why it's not getting better, um, you know, and what caused it. And then what can we do to set you up on a comprehensive treatment plan that's going to basically restore your function and take you to the next level, get you back to work, get you back to play, get you back to the exercise class, your favorite exercise class, whether it's yoga, uh, you know, Pilates or whatever it is, um, or just simply, you know, taking your independence in life to the next notch. You know, some of my older, more experienced clients will say, like, I just want to be able to mow the lawn again, Blur, like, so my son doesn't have to do it anymore and I don't have to rely on him. You know, I just want to be able to to do that um, you know so uh, there's lots we can do to regain your function so I mean you know if this is starting to sound familiar to you like man I, I can relate to this this is me then really uh, you need to take action you need to you know be motivated to make a difference in that foot pain if you can and invest in your health um, so what we need to do probably the best way to do is just uh, you know to let you know that we can help and to have a conversation with us so the one way to do that is you can contact us and you can set up what they call a telephone conversation. So you can talk to one of our great physiotherapists about your foot pain. And we can basically answer all your questions, your concerning questions that you have. You know, the questions that the doctor didn't address because they only had five minutes with you. We're willing to give you 15 to 20 minutes to answer all your questions and really get familiar with your condition and what modified risk factors we could probably modify in there. And if you're happy with that and you feel like we're a right fit, then you could just simply ask uh, our team member if you could join as a member um, of our clinic or become a client with us and you know another thing you could do is you could um, if you're really motivated and you like the content you like what you're hearing from us today uh, simply just press the cost and availability button on the website and download a couple forms fill those out and then we can get in contact with you and hopefully we can get you in for an assessment within the next couple of days for those of you that are really nervous and a bit skeptical from maybe a poor experience in the past or you know, negative experience that may have kind of flared up your symptoms. Uh, we also have what we call a discovery session. So you can actually physically come in. We can book a time slot for you uh, in our clinic. And uh, you can talk to one of our great physiotherapists, again, for, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. And just they can help, again, identify if there are some things that we could help within your soft tissue pain condition. And if there are, then we'd be willing to help you. Uh, you can have a look at our caring environment and meet the rest of our staff. Uh, and if you're comfortable with that, then you can start your journey to your recovery, pain-free recovery at that stage right away. Um, so alternately as well, we, you can download one of the free reports we have. Uh, we've got a ton of free reports on different body parts. Uh, you know, we're talking about the foot right now. So there's lots of things you can do for the foot uh, that'll give you what I call happy feet. And uh, I do a great presentation called Happy Feet that uh, always leaves people kind of, uh, you know, excited that they, they've learned something in regards to what they can do on a daily basis to basically give their feet more comfort because um, we spend a lot of time in our feet and you know I always tell people the two things you can't cheat yourself in life on are is a good bed because you're sleeping at six to eight hours a day and and good footwear because uh, you're on your feet you know some of us are on our feet for eight to twelve hours a day some of us are in office jobs not as often on our feet um, but you still have to have good footwear and uh, you want to really treat your feet well because they're the wheels for your body. 
Um, so the big difference is we have time for you. And uh, so, you know, if you feel like we're a good fit for you, again, the three ways to contact us and sort of engage with us. Number one is the cost and availability button on the website. So you can click on that. Again, download the uh, two pages that you have to fill out, submit those. We can get in contact with you. Hopefully we'll get you in, in a couple of days for an assessment. Um, or you can book a telephone conversation with one of our great physios and then go over uh, basically your history and sort of uh, what's happened to your foot and what's been going on and uh, just learn a little bit more about what we might be able to help you with. And then the third one is the discovery. So if um, you uh, are a bit skeptical again and you're not quite sure, then you just want to get uh, book a discovery session. Then. And that way you can get in front of our physiotherapist face-to-face. -face. They can really identify what's wrong with the foot that we can conservatively manage and help you with. Uh, and then at that point, if you're comfortable, you can start your journey and your recovery right there that day. Um, so... Um, you know, I, hopefully we'll get the chance to help you uh, sooner rather than later um, and serve you. And really, it's whichever way you'd like to start off to engage with us, you know, with those three thing, three ways we talked about. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll see you in the clinic soon. Um, and take care. My name is Blair Shackley on behalf of the Nose Creek Sport Physiotherapy team, where we get you moving faster and feeling better. All right, take care. Talk soon. Bye-bye.